Now in this uh, in this example we are going to study the re linear relationship between two variables. Okay, so say we have this table of values in which the x values represent the income of a person in thousands of dollars and the donation that they gave for a certain cause. And we want to know if we can have a mathematical relationship showing us the pattern of or the trend of this, you know, the, these values. So what we can do is that we can go ahead and plot. We know how to plot, all right? And then we can see the relationship looks close to linear. And now we shall think of finding equation of line that describes this linear relationship the best. It is also called a regression line. Now we shall use a, our TI84 calc, TI calculator to do this work, okay? So this is a statistical feature, so we go in a stat, all right, and what we want to do is we want to enter our values, which can be done by using edit, all right? Oh, now here we already have certain things sitting in here. So if you, you can choose the other two columns or you can do this, that is just highlight the name of this uh, column and uh, press clear and then press enter. Uh, it's all erased for you. So now we can do this. That is just to start pressing the, or entering the numbers. Okay, we have 69, 75, 81, okay, and uh, 98, all right, yeah. 110, okay, and then the Y values are 25, then we have 30, okay, 33, 40, and 50, okay, so we have all the values entered. Uh, let's quickly check that we didn't make any data entry mistake, doesn't look like we did, okay. Now in order to find the equation that we want, let's go to stat, now we want to do calculations, okay. And for the calculation, what do we need here? We want to have this uh, equation of the regression line, okay. So we just enter that, right? So we want our L1 will be X and L2 will be Y. So once you enter that, what do we get? The slope of the line is approximately 0.57 and the Y intercept is what? Negative 13.45. And of course, you know, don't, don't assume that from here we can conclude that if somebody has no income, they're gonna take $13.45 away. Um, just, you know, going that far on the left would be called extrapolation. So we would be confining ourselves into the values that come into this region, okay? So according to this, what do we get as our equation of the line? We get the equation of the line as 0.57x, minus 13.75, okay? So from our calculations, what we have is that the equation of the line of best fit is 0.57x minus, y equals 0.57x minus 13.45, okay?